In this tutorial, we're going to make Havana by Camila Cabello, and we're going to use GarageBand on iPad. First step, find the keyboard and click on Alchemy Synth. Click on Epic Cloud Formation or whatever instrument is listed at the top here. Go back to main categories and make sure you're in keyboards. Scroll down until you find Classical Grand. Press at the top in the mixer window and hit edit. Turn on edit mode in the top left corner and press anywhere in the first bar. Press done to get out and drag this window so that it goes to the end of bar two, just touching the start of bar three. Press on that section and go edit to go in again. Find the note you put in, turn on edit mode and press on it to delete it. Then we're gonna add in these notes. Once you've added in this one, drag it out so that it adds another box. Drag D all the way until there's just two boxes left. Then put these notes on top. And finally add these two notes at the end. Drag this back to one box and this note. Listen to it. Finally, back in bar one, input these notes above C3 and place them beginning at the third box. Make it two boxes long and then at the beginning of the seventh box. Get out by pressing done in the top right corner. Click on classical grand and press loop. Add a new instrument by pressing the plus button. Again, add a new keyboard, alchemy synth. Click on epic cloud formation or whatever is there. Make sure you're back at main categories. Scroll down to other, scroll down and choose P bass. Press done. Click in the mixer area, edit, turn on the edit function. Our first note is G. Play it in, get out and extend the section so that it's two bars long. Click on it again, edit to go back in. Make sure edit mode is on and drag this note out so that it's four boxes, then Drag it back so that it's only three boxes. And finally, this note. Drag it out so that it goes all the way to the end, but leave one box remaining. Press done and listen to it. Click on the area, press loop. Press the plus to add a new instrument, but this time scroll across to drums and click on the beat sequencer. Down the bottom left corner, click on modern 808, go to percussion and choose Latin. Press the stop button, click on the box next to Latin, scroll all the way to the left and find new pattern. Click on the info button and make sure you've got 32 steps. Stop the drum machine and then input the following notes and make sure you do it accurately. At the far left of the screen where you can see all the percussion instruments, scroll down so that you can see the plus symbol. Add the cowbell, Go back to plus, add the shaker. Both of them have the same rhythm. Turn on the power button at the bottom to listen. You can see at the top of the drum machine, there's two sections. I'm clicking between them right now. Make sure you're on the second section and input the following. Press back on the first section at the top of the drum machine and press play. Stop the drum machine using the power button at the bottom. Make sure you press the back button at the top, turn on the power button to start the drum machine and then press record, which is the red circle at the top. This will record in the drum pattern. You only need to record two bars and then you're going to loop it. So drag the track back so that it's right on three. Then press in the track and hit loop. Press back and press play and listen to it. Now we're gonna add the breakdown section. Press the plus near the top right corner, add a section, keep it at eight bars, press away. Go to the piano, 
press in the area and go to edit. Make sure you're right at the beginning of nine. Zoom in and play these notes. Make sure you turn on the edit function in the top left. Drag it back so that it's just two squares. Get out and drag this out so that it goes to 11. Go back in, press edit. Without having the edit mode on, drag these out so that there's two boxes left. Press done to get out. Listen to it. Click on the base, press in the area, hit edit. Turn on the edit function at the top left. Zoom in and add these notes. Make sure it's two boxes long. Press done to get out. Drag it out so that it's two bars. Go back in, edit. Move down to the area. Without activating the edit button, click on the note and drag it out so that it has two boxes left. Press done to exit. Listen to it. Click on percussion. Click on the box between the dice and Latin and choose new pattern. Turn off the power and add in these notes. Press the plus to add the cowbell. Press it again to add the shaker. Turn on the power to listen to it. Go back to the beginning, turn on the power and press record. Stop it and drag this back so that it's right on 10. Go back to classical grand, click on it again and loop it. Go back to P bass, click on it again and loop it. Go to percussion, click on it again, but this time press copy. Line up your cursor right on 11, click in the space and press paste. Do that again at 13 and 15. Listen to it. Go to the plus button in the top right corner and click on all sections. Click away. And now you can play through the whole song. Press the plus button again. Press on section A and hit duplicate. That will now become section C. Press all sections, press away, and you'll see your full song. Press the mixer button near the top left so that you just see your tracks and press play. 